What's going on YouTube and welcome to a video all about AI transcription services. So say you're in a meeting on, you know, Google Meet or Microsoft Teams, Zoom, what have you. There are awesome AI tools that can plug directly in with your meeting and take notes, take action items, and then give you meeting summaries. And so if you're using Office 365, you've probably seen the transcription feature, you, you know you can record meetings, you know all this already. Um, and those are really nice features, but they don't really break things out for you in terms of action items, what have you. So if you're you know, running projects um, with an agile mindset, right? Um, you know, stuff like Spinach IO, which we'll cover in this video, you know, can be your AI Scrum Master. And it's really awesome. And the best part is it's free, which is awesome. Um, and then in terms of discrete note taking, say you have a screen recording of a meeting that you have and you want to transcribe that, um, we're going to talk through some features on how to do that. And some of this you've seen in my previous videos as well. So enough about that. Let's get into it and talk about AI transcription services. So first up is Spinach IO. This is a transcription service and project manager. So if you're involved in agile, um, you know, Spinach IO can be your scrum master. It will sit in meetings, take notes and give you action items, which is pretty cool. It's also free for pretty much all the good features that it has. Um, if you want pro features, um, you get GPT-4, um, but honestly 3.5 is really good as is. I connected with my Microsoft account, gave it some information about me during setup and setup uh, also integrated with, with Slack, which I found really cool. Um, so after meetings, Spinach IO would, you know, take the transcripts, get the key action items and blockers and actually post about the meetings in the Slack channel uh, of my choosing, which was really cool. Um, all in all, uh, setup took about six minutes. Uh, basically just said I, I didn't want it on any reoccurring meetings and I integrated it with Slack. So once my connection was completed, I made sure that it was integrated with the correct Slack channel of my choosing. And then something cool about this software as well is it will automatically create tickets for you and it will automatically summarize meeting notes in your knowledge bases that you use in your company. Um, and you know, using this thing is as simple as inviting it to your meetings using this AI at spinach.io. And so we did just that. For a little test, um, I just invited my phone um, and Spinach IO came on as a guest. Um, it was going to act as Scrum Master during this meeting. Um, it's, it was going to take action items for us. So you could see that it's taking notes, right? So it, it's active and going. And um, I wanted to also utilize Microsoft 365. So I also clicked on more up here and there's a record and transcribe button where you can actually have Microsoft 365 also transcribe your meeting. So I'm quickly going to skip through this, but uh, the meeting went well. I basically just kind of talked through what I was doing with the program and left myself some action items. Afterwards, uh, you know, in Microsoft Teams, I can see the chat recap, um, live notes that were taken by participants and recordings and transcriptions within Microsoft Teams. And just a note, if you use Office 365 to do transcriptions or record a video of the meeting, it's gonna tell the participants in the meeting, like, hey, I'm recording this, you're being recorded, sort of thing. Um, and then you can just check it out afterward. Um, so just be aware that um, this isn't really something discreet. You should uh, you know, announce this to your team members prior to doing this. Um, something else cool that may be worth mentioning is you can also enable a speaker coach and it will tell you um, how many ums and um, ands you use in your sentences and tells you like how fast you talk and how well you talk. All right, so here's the spinach summary in Slack um, and it also emailed this out to all the participants, although you can turn this off with pro features. Um, however, I mean, it lists the key topics, where we're at, it lists the action items, it lists the blockers, and even celebrations. And when you click view de details, it'll like tell you where it saw these things, where it pulled the data from within the transcript. Um, and overall, I, I thought the layout looked really good here. It was visually appealing, and it was really nice that, you know, for, for at least this team, it could be just stuck in a Slack channel, um, which was really nice. So as for Office 365, um, it does have a transcript that's now in Teams and you can just hit the download button and download it as a Word document. And uh, with that Word document, you can copy and paste it into an LLM if you want to and then ask the LLM to summarize it. 
So of course we gave that a try in GPT-4. Um, you know, I'm, I'm already paying for a premium subscription with ChatGPT um, to use GPT-4. And honestly, it did a pretty good job of summarizing the meeting. Um, what I found is that with longer meetings, when there's multiple pages and pages of transcripts, um, you know, it, it can't, these LLMs can't break them down um, in a good method um, to give you, you know, solid meeting minutes. Um, so spinach, you know, kind of wins this round in terms of, you know, being able to take a, a whole hour's worth of data and summarize it very quickly. Um, you know, copying and pasting stuff in a chat GPT, there's only so many tokens you could use at one time and that can be problematic. I will note that there are plugins with GPT-4. So if you pay for premium, you can go to the plugin store and find like uh, chat with PDF plugins for chat GPT. Um, this enables you to uh, take your notes from Office 365, those transcripts, you know, save them as a PDF, upload them into your uh, a Google Drive and then give it a link, right? And once you give it that link, it, it can read the document as a whole, you know, uh, like truncate and chunk up the different pieces of information and give you a better summary of events. So on this side, I did create a Python program um, that uses Langchain and uh, it enables you to use the OpenAI API and talk to PDF documents. So I uploaded my meeting minutes in there as well, just to see if it would give me a, a good output. And honestly, it was pretty solid uh, compared to Spinach. I also looked at some other transcription services such as Read AI. Fireflies AI and Otter AI. Um, Otter, you know, to me was one that everyone knew about already. Um, I think they just had really good marketing. Maybe they were like first to market on this kind of stuff and they were really good for transcriptions, but not really for summarizing notes. Um, Read AI, um, you know, it, it not only did transcribing, but it also gave a lot of data notes um, about the meeting. Um, and compared to Spinach, this software will actually not only record and transcribe audio, but it'll also record video uh, in your meetings and it will like split up highlights of the video in the meetings so you can see only the important parts of the meeting that you missed. I also thought the engagement scores were really cool. Um, they had some like, really cool metrics that they gave you about the meeting. So it, it understands how many people are talking in your meeting. And then the AI will say, okay, well, uh, talker number one is not talking as much as talker number two. And then it gives you all that data afterwards. So, I mean, uh, in terms of how useful this is, you know, I don't know how useful it is necessarily. Um, but the summaries were good compared to spinach and the transcripts were also good. Um, obviously, um, all AI transcription services are fallible, right? So they don't always hear the correct words. You know, everyone's accents are different. Um, so, you know, uh, none of the services I use were perfect, um, but overall they were all quite good. Fireflies, uh, looking at that, the pricing was uh, pretty standard, records Zoom meetings, Microsoft Team meetings, and it gives you those transcription uh, playbacks for you. Um, but it didn't really do any like meeting summary notes and stuff. Um, so really it was just transcription and that was about it. And then I looked at Otter, which I think is well known. It's been around a while. Um, and I think it started out as only transcriptions, but now, you know, you can integrate it with your Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Zoom, and it will uh, record transcripts for you. Um, what's really nice about Otter compared to the other services that we've looked at is you can actually, you know, record a meeting discreetly and then upload a video file and it will transcribe that video file um, that you uploaded, which was pretty cool. Um, but it is kind of expensive if you want to do it that way uh, because they, they charge uh, quite a bit um, for uploading multiple videos per month. But you know, if you use something like Whisper from OpenAI, it's free, runs locally on your computer. You can actually just take a video that you recorded and pull out the transcription uh, locally. And it's that easy. Um, so there is plenty of uh, applications you can build in Python that utilize Whisper AI. Um, and there's lots on Python. Um, and if you've seen some of my previous videos, um, you've seen me cover some of that already. So the real winner here is Spinach.io, right? So it's gonna plug into your Microsoft Team meeting, Google meeting, what have you. It's gonna take notes, it's gonna be your project manager, and it takes really good summarizations of what went on. Note quality is very good. Um, you know. Runners up are Read AI, Otter and Fireflies, but of course um, pricing, 
versus capability here, it's not truly free, right? Um, spinach, it gives you pretty much all the capabilities for free, um, but it gives you better capabilities if you pay for a subscription. And then Microsoft Teams, you know, this is an interesting thing to think about, you know, are they just gonna integrate this at a future time, right? Um, are all these other companies doomed because Microsoft Teams will probably have some sort of co-pilot fe feature in the next year or so where it'll summarize that, that transcript and give you notes automatically. So, um, you know, as it stands today, um, again, Spinach IO, probably the best. And then for more discrete note taking or offline note taking, say you have an old recording and you want to take some meeting minutes from it, um, definitely recommend something like Whisper AI, which can take your video, transcribe it into notes, and then just take those notes, plug in an LLM, and then get your meeting minutes in that fashion. Um, so that's more useful if you can't integrate uh, these systems like Spinach IO, if you're working with external clients, what have you. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel and look forward to seeing you on the next video.